Well, guys, here we are at the old Jayco again. Now, what I want to show you now is uh, a little modification, the next modification. Mind you, I've done about 200 on this thing. The next modification that was just um, peeing us off with just not, yeah, wasn't quite right. And uh, maybe some of you old caravan owners, the old... Not old caravan owners, maybe some of you owners of old caravans might have the same problem. So I was just going to show you my little fix. It's only a short video. It's only a minor fix up. But let's have a look and I'll show you what I'm up to. Okay, we're inside the van now. Let's have a look at the culprit. There he is. These lights. Now, during the night time, they're quite okay as a nice dim light. But at night time, they're absolutely useless. There's just not enough, not enough light. So I'll take take these off and just show you what I've put in here. We did do the uh, LED modification so we've got little spade type I'll show you what they are these little lamps uh, hang on a minute oh, but, yeah they're these little fellas uh, little wedge type lamps and yeah this one's LED it emits about as uh, about as much as uh, uh, two candles. So I'm going to leave them in because sometimes you just want a little bit of dim light while you're watching telly. So I'm going to leave those in there. But the other modification is I'm going to put another light up here. So let's have a look at what that is. Okay, here we are. LED, a um, cob, cob based or a chip on board as it stands for, a, array of LEDs uh, equivalent to, uh, I think this is about 25 watts equivalent to strip, comes with double sided tape, which uh, I will be using because I don't want to put any holes, and it's going beside the other light in the roof. It's got its own on-off switch, so I'll wire it in to the same power wires as the existing light switch. And that way, if you want more light in here, at least we can turn this on. And these are bright. These are really bright. The item, eBay, I don't know, there are 20 bucks for two of them or something like that. Not a very dear thing, but it will make a difference to our lighting in here. We do have a strip lighting around in the kitchen here, but uh, for overall van lighting, we sometimes, if you're looking for something in the kitchen or under the bed or something, you just need a little bit of good lighting. So this is what I'm going to do. So let's have a look up the top and find out what we're going to do, how we're going to wire it, how we're going to mount it. Okay, so in this one, there's eight screws, Phillips screws, so we're just going to take the light off the roof, and these are nice, nice long screws. So the idea is, what I'm going to do with this is mount it just beside, up the front, like so, so that up, up here, up the other end, we've got our, our on-off switch and it'll give us plenty of light in the kitchen area. And I've actually got uh, two other lights towards the back. I want to see how these are going to go. This will be wired in. I may have to extend these, but this will wired in with the uh, wires wiring in here. So we've got to drop the light and find out what sort of wiring is in behind here and I'm also while we're doing this 
I'm also very pleased that uh, quite a few of you have uh, subscribed to my channel and we've got a fair few views thank you very much so if you like what I do give us give us a like give us a thumbs up and uh, also uh, my other channel Teco Baz 55 uh, is getting quite a few views well we've got lots of subscribers on there and gradually building up each day so it's uh, electronic repair mostly vintage radio tvs but there's also lots and lots of other stuff on there um anything from uh, uh singing radios to uh whippersnippers so yeah that's why not check it out it's uh teco baz 55 that's my other channel but seeing we also like caravanning and camping and me matching that with the technology that I like uh, it's led to a lot of a lot of modifications for this old van it may be an old van but uh, electronic wise she's right up there so soon we'll be well towards the end of the year actually on the um, at, at the end of the December I think on the 27th of December we're heading down to Tasmania and I reckon that'll be a great trip we will be documenting lots of places where to go how we find it and we're doing it a little bit on a shoestring we can't afford to uh, stay in any flash places or have a flash van or anything like that but uh, we're going to do it we, and I'd like to show you I'd like to show you how we do it economically hopefully we can pretty sure we'll be able to so we'll share our oh my arm's getting tired <laughs> we'll share our adventures with you there we go look at that yes an easy one but the leads may not be long enough let's put this one up like this and uh, I'd say actually I am going to extend these two leads they're uh, they'll fit in but it'll make it very short on these it's only got to be uh, probably 50 80 mil I'll put 50 mil on them so just red and black wires they don't need to be heavy uh, because this draws hardly any current so we'll do that and we'll come back well hi guys I'm back at the bench now I've popped this little lamp apart these only uh, clip in along the edges so we put a, a very small screwdriver along one edge and pop the lens off so what I'm going to do here is you can see the length of wire here is uh, very short it's uh, I'd say it's 80 mil or something like that uh, I'm unsoldering these and putting a longer piece it's just because I don't want to join in it that's all but um, if you guys get similar lamps to this this is what it looks like fairly easy to gently unsolder those and solder on a couple of other leads like so so and as far as the lenses are concerned you can see the little just the little clips along there that uh, you just you can do it with a knife or a very small screwdriver and just unclip one side and this just comes out Okay, so we'll show you this when I get him done. Radio. Now first, we tin our wire, so we put some 
Hope you can see it there. I think you can. Yeah. We put some solder on the on the wire and run our soldering iron along and what we call tin the wire first which puts some solder on the wire and it makes it a lot easier when you're soldering it onto the board. Now this piece of wire, these two pieces, I've just um, collected, out, it's actually out of an old microwave, but any two light gauge wire like that. So, okay. Oh, I'm sure most of, uh, most of us guys have got soldering irons now. Okay. So we very gently, now it doesn't want to melt there, so we'll put a little bit of solder on the tip of the iron to help melt the one below. Believe me, that works. Takes a little bit of heat because the actual circuit board is sitting on the aluminium underneath it. Here we go. Negative and positive are labelled. Right, now we'll get rid of, well, we, we'll add some of the new solder to where the old one was. We'll trim our wire a little bit neater than that, make him fairly short. I'm just doing this back to front so that you guys can see it. And we'll connect him up. Get myself organised here. Connect him up like so. This one on there. And job done and we've got well six inches or um, I don't know however many mil that is and it'll make it a lot easier now what we've got to do here our little switch just push him into this end and basically we clip this together Like so. Little clips all the way along. Our switch still works fine there. And we have a nice length of wire. So let's go and connect him up. Right, well here we are back in the van. Now, what I want to do with these two, first of all, is uh, you always want to check which is positive and negative that's a white wire that one's a gray one coming out of the roof but just to be on the safe side we turn the power on to our van now if i turn this on we have lights well we did have that one's not working at the moment i wonder why turn him over and he works okay so both working as you can see not a lot of light from there but we're going to check that with the multimeter to find out which is our negative lead i hope you can see the multimeter there we're going to put that in there and the white positive 13.61, there's our meter reading, and that, the black wire, is actually our positive lead, which is the white lead here. So this doesn't make sense of how this old girl's wired. That's why it always pays to just check with the multimeter before you do anything like this. So now we know we've got to connect our positive lead to our black lead, which, as I said, doesn't make a lot of sense, 
but that's the why it's wide. Now on this one we've got little little connectors. Right, we'll drop him off there. So that wire's exposed. We'll do one at a time so the light doesn't actually fall down. Now we'll strip these leads. We'll strip him back a little way. Everyone has different ways of stripping wires. I where are we? I still use the old method of a pair of side cutters. Been a tech for maybe just too long. There, as you can see, about uh, 20 mil. The red we shall wrap around this wire and there. We'll put our little connector back on. Your connectors may not be the same as this. It, uh, it may be hardwired. Some people don't like to solder them. But this one has just got a uh, screw terminal, insulated screw terminal. So we'll just use what's there. Right, we'll do the negative and we'll just check to see, oh, there we go, and as you can see, power's still on, but uh, we'll turn our switch off while we're doing that. And if you're unsure of working with voltage and 12 volts and all that, Make sure you turn the power off before you do this. I haven't done, because I'm doing one at a time, there's probably, it's not touching or shorting or going to short or anything. So, I'm doing it with the power on. But please, if you're unsure, the worst that can happen is you touch them together, you'll blow a fuse somewhere. And... It's an inconvenience. That's if there's a fuse in line, or worse still, you'll burn some wires. Hopefully it's all fused. Right. There we go. Now, press our switch. And we've got a nice bright light compared to this thing. Okay, so let's tuck some cables in and try and get this back into position a bit. Okay, so these fellas have to go in the middle there and be tucked away. This sits nice and flush with the roof. So, and find find where that screw come out, which is about about there. Yep. I'm panting and puffing here because this it's hard working above your head. Just put a couple of screws in this for the moment to make sure everything's going to line up. So now I'll just tighten him up a little bit. Okay, all our screws are back in. So now it's a matter of mounting this fella just there with our double sided tape. He's in as far as I want him there. I don't want him right against it. Just a little bit there so that we can see what's going on. And we get our double-sided tape that was sent with this.
let's see what we can do get some light in here okay double sided peel backing off and let's put him up make sure he's reasonably straight that looks pretty good and push him up onto the roof there we go and we've got a nice bright light as well as our night lights I like them at night but certainly and almost job done we've got to put our covers back on to go on there we go okay night lights and daylight peel our plastic off job done ten dollars ebay 20 bucks a pair i think they were 19 dollars a pair and wow what a difference it makes all right guys that's that's the job complete hope you've enjoyed me little video here on how to hook in another light when you haven't got enough happening in the caravan all right until next time and please remember to like and subscribe if you like what we do what i what i play around with here and there'll be many more many more videos to come okay bye for now